Dear viewers, my name is Dr. John Muhammad Pandit, Assistant Professor at the Department of English, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, in this video lecture, we will talk about word formation. Here, first of all, uh, I would like to deliberate on what's word formation and then different types of word formation. Now, what's word formation? Before we start, let me make you clear that English as a, English as a language, it's the most elastic language in the world. It uh, not only accommodates uh, foreign words, in fact, from a single word, we can derive many words. That's why we say it's the most elastic language. It uh, not only welcomes new, lang uh, new words, in fact, uh, taken from other languages. It uh, here from a single word we can derive different words. Uh, that's why we say English. Uh, it's uh, known as for its wonderful quality of way in which words and sentences are formed and used. And if this formation of new words uh, from existing root words by adding like a, a, a syllable. Or another word, it's the general process. However, there are multiple ways it, uh, in which it can be done. Here we have a different ways through which we can form words. Uh, sometimes we just add a syllable in order to create a new word. Or at times we derive word from the existing root word. Now here we will see the different ways or through which we uh, create or we form words. And the one more thing, the, uh, the concept of the word formation, it deals with linguistics. And in linguistics, word formation is the creation of new words. And this sometimes uh, we take this word formation for semantic change, but that's not the case. That's why word formation is sometimes contrasted with the semantic change. And as you know that the semantic change, it's a change in a single word's meaning. And time at times uh, it seems to be uh, very difficult to separate these two. That means the word formation from the semantics. That's why we say the boundary between word formation and the semantic change can be difficult to define. And uh, a new use of an older word can be seen as a new word derived from an old one and identical to it. To it in form. Now uh, here the word formation, although it's uh, different from this semantic change, but sometimes we confuse one with another. Here we will see how it's different and what are the different types of uh, word formation. And here there are the number of methods of word uh, formation and the first one is the derivation. And then we have the compounding, blending, acronym, learn words, and next one, the nihilism. Here we will take these one by one. Our first one is the derivation. Derivation in journal means uh, the formation of a word from another word. Or base and the relation of word to its base or root. Derivation, if you look at this word, it's a noun and it's derived from a word derived 
and there are means as you know uh when we get something from uh, a source that's why we say this uh, derivation in journal means the formation of a word it's the formation of a word from another word or you can say from root word or from from base word and the relation of word to its uh, base or root here are the some common examples for example we have some suffix and some prefix when we add some suffixes or some prefixes to the root word or the base word surely we get a new word for example here are some suffix and prefix like yun an this mis miss nessness etc as in words like uh, unkind here we have a root word base word and that base word is kind if we just add the prefix un it gives a different meaning in fact uh, uh, we create or we uh, derive a different word from the root word unkind which is very much opposed to of kind or for that matter we have agree as a root word if we just add a prefix this it completely gives the opposite meaning in a similar fashion we have understand this is the main word this is the root word this is the base word and if we, if we add the prefix miss it will it gives different meaning in fact it gives the very opposite meaning of the root word or for that matter we have the word kind if you add just a suffix ness it gives a different meaning kind and kindness in fact we here get a different part of speech for example if kind is a an adjective and kindness by adding any s that by adding a suffix any s we get a new word and that new word is kindness and kindness it's an uh, it's a noun and uh, in a similar fashion we have a root word child in fact it's a very neutral word but, but uh, if we just an ish it gives uh, it gives a, it gives a rise to a, uh, it gives rise or it gives birth to a new word and that's childish which is something which is very much disapproving uh childs and in a in a diff uh, uh, similarly we have uh, like use useful useless etc therefore the main thing is that this derivation it's the formation or it's a creation of new word from another word or you can say from an existing word or in other words we can say from a base or the root word and now we have the next one that's compound in linguistics compounding it's a lexeme less uh, precisely a word that consists of more than one word when we say that in uh, linguistics a compound is a lexeme that means uh, 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 to be in a general sense we can say a word that consists of more than one words here we just blend two words sometimes we blend these two words with the help of hyphen and sometimes we don't put a hyphen but surely it's a combination of two words compounding that's why we say compounding occurs when two or more words are joined to make one longer word here we join two words or two or more words in order to make a new word a longer one 
And when we use compounding, we link together to our more bases to create a new word. Here, what we do in compounding, we don't add uh, uh, suffixes or prefixes, no. Here, what we do, we just combine two base words or two root words to create another one, the longer one. And normally, the first item identifies a key feature of the second word. Here, it's very important to understand. Here, we combine two independent words, two root words, two base words in order to create a longer word in order to create a compound word but uh, the first item or the first word uh, identifies key features of the second word for example we have foot and uh, path here the first item that is the foot it identifies a key feature of the second word that is the path it means the footpath, we are talking about him. Here the footpath, it's composed of two nouns, foot and path. And here we can combine different parts of speech in order to create, uh, uh, in order to make a compound word a longer one. For example, if you look at the word blackbird, here we have uh, two words, one is the black and the second is the bird. Black is an adjective and bird is a noun. Therefore, this uh, word, black bird, it's a combination of two words. Uh, one is a, uh, an adjective and the second one is a noun. Now then uh, we have the next one and the next one is the blending. In linguistics, a blend word is one formed from parts of two or more other words. In blend, in blending, the base words or the root words, they get deformed. They lost their real or original uh, shape. Here we just mix up the words or the mingle the words in order to create the new one. That's why this blending is different from our previous one that's a compounding. In compounding the words retain their original shape. But in blending uh, it is just a mixture of two words or two more than two words. Here the words, the original words which uh, we blend lost their uh, original, the first position or original shape. Now, two or more words combine to create a new word, whose meaning is often a combination of the original words. For example, if you look at the example SMOG here, uh, it's a blend of two words. One is the smoke and another is fog. Or if you look at the branch, it's a combination of two words. One is the breakfast and another is the lunch. In branch, we have taken the first two letters, B and R, and then the last four letters of lunch. Here, uh, completely, this uh, branch is completely different from breakfast or lunch. Here, the original word breakfast or the lunch, they both lost their shapes in the process of this blending. And then we have the next one, it's the acronym. An acronym is a word or the name formed as an abbreviation from initial compound components in a phrase or a word, usually individual letters. What's this acronym? Actually, it's a word or you can simply say it's a name which is formed as an abbreviation from the initial components in a phrase or the initial letters of a word or a phrase.
usually individual letters as in an atrium letter or laser or sometimes syllables. Acronyms and they are pronounced as words. Sometimes they are pronounced as word and at times we pronounce them just as the letters. If you look at these two examples here, we have an ATO. It's a here, it's actually the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. We have taken the first letter of each word and then form a new word that's NATO. Sometimes we pronounce it as a word, as a word, as a singular entity that NATO. But sometimes we uh of course we uh, take the first letter of a phrase. But uh, at the same time, uh, we can't create a new word. In fact, we put it, uh, we pronounce it as letters, as separate letters like GIF. This is a graphic uh, interchange from it. That's why we say acronyms are pronounced as a word, uh, containing only initial letters. Sometimes we pronounce it as a word, like in NATO, but sometimes uh, uh, we pronounce. Uh, uh, these individual letters like uh, BBC. Uh, then we have the next one that's uh, in word formation. We have the next one that's the learn words. In ling in uh, linguistics, learn is borrowed from another language. A list of learn words from French. Learn words mean the words uh, which are borrowed from another language. As you know, the English uh, language we have different words have been borrowed from uh, Latin, uh, like Greek language, French language. Uh, for example, if you look at the word absurd, absurd. This absurd it's a compound of uh, two Latin words, ab. And certs. Ab means from and certs means irrational. Therefore, it's a, it's a loan word. It's a loan word. It has been taken from a Latin language. Uh, similarly, English has different words taken from different languages like uh, pineapple, uh, like uh, killer whale, like the mussel, like uh, in fact some Hindi words also like chapati. We have the different words taken from the different languages and we call it the loan, uh, loaned words. Or for, for that matter, if you look at uh, the word uh, communication, this word communication it is derived from a Latin word, a communicare or communis, which means to share, to import, to make known to all, to transmit, okay? Therefore, again, it's a known word. We have the different words taken from the different languages. Then we have the next one that is a neologism or coinage. You can call it neologism or coinage. Uh, this word is derived, this neologism, it's derived from uh, the Greek words uh, like uh, neo and logos. So neo means a new and the logos means speech. Therefore, uh, neologism, it means something uh, which is new. Or there's another word for it, that's the coinage. Neologism can become popular by way of mass media, the internet and word of mouth. Now, the neologism, it means the creation of uh, new words. When we create new words or when we coin new words, as I told you, it's derived from uh, two uh, Greek words, that's neo and logos. Neo means new and logos means speech. And this uh, neologism, it can uh, become popular by way of uh, mass media, the internet and the word of mouth. In present scenario, we have different words. In fact, on a routine basis, we have different words in the English language. And culture and technology use are major drivers in neologism development. Example of neologism word is like a webinar, we have for, for that matter a seminar, uh, or we have the netizens or denizens. These are the different 
uh, words uh, which we have received prior to the English language. These are the uh, some uh, methods of word formation. These are the references uh, for further reading. It was all about this video. Uh, we will meet her in another video with some different topic. Till then, goodbye. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.